What's going on YouTube, Jay Kicks? I'm back with another video, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. Of course, let me get one thing out the way. Hit the like and subscribe button. Doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers, and I'm almost there, guys. I really appreciate all of the time that you guys take out of your day just to watch my video. It really means a lot. Every single second that you watch, and it really helps. Hopefully, you guys had a good week. Hopefully, you guys are safe, and most importantly, getting ready for the holidays. Can you believe it's already Christmas next week, and then after that, it's New Year's, and you know, we put 20 20 behind us so i'm really excited especially because i'm gonna have two three day weekends in a row and then next week is my birthday as well so it all aligns perfectly i couldn't be any more happier and just the fact that i get to spend more time with my family i don't want anything else but that but besides all that of course we got some sneakers to talk about and i've been waiting to do this for a very long time so you guys read the title let's just get straight into it of course we got your regular 700 box you have your yeezy branding on the side of the box as well you have the size tag over here 10 and a half 700 Zale, all the nice stuff that you get on your regular box. So like I mentioned, I've been waiting to make this video for a while now and since we're closer to the one year anniversary that the sneaker come out, I think it's finally time to pull these babies out. So today we're gonna be taking a look at my personal grails, the Yeezy 700 V3 in the Azale colorway. So like I mentioned, these debuted all the way back in December of 2019 and this is the debut silhouette of the V3 and honestly, I couldn't be any more happier that I got this. I don't have the 700 V2 model as yet, but even not owning it, I already know that this is my favorite model of all time. I mean, you can't go wrong with the V1s as well, but this is just a really nice sneaker so let's just get straight into the details so the first thing that you notice on the sneaker it does have that black sock liner with the 3m at the bottom as well and then you have your rubber fang that you find on all of your 700s well this one only has rubber all the other ones are made out of suede and then at the side of the sneaker you do have your rubber cage there which is glow in the dark probably my favorite feature of the sneaker and then you have this translucent part over here you can pretty much see your socks you get to the back of the sneaker and you do have your adidas branding there and you switch to the bottom you have your holes that you usually see on your 700 but it's not featuring boost it's featuring the eva foam so usually with 700 models they do come with ortholite insoles as you can see i took mine out because uh i'm still new to the yeezy sneakers and um it's just really hard to figure out their sizing but like i said it comes with your standard ortholite i had to take mine out so it could fit more comfortably and i don't care what anybody says if you have to put this next to the wave runners and the statics the first debut for each of the silhouettes i have to say this is still number one to me and i know i'm crazy for saying the wave runner ain't the one but to me this is where the yeezy brand is going to be heading into the future it's going to have futuristic looks to it so the yeezy 700 v3 does retail for 200 dollars which is a hundred dollars less than your regular v1 models your v2 models but it does come with the cost of not having any boost but to be honest even with the v1s i'm not sure about the v2s you really don't feel the boost like that so making the 700 v3 very affordable it's really nice you know it gives people more access to it they don't have to spend a lot of money for it and I feel like the V3 is just perfect, honestly. We all remember the first time we saw these, you know, Ye took them off his foot and gave them to DJ Khaled. And as soon as I laid my eyes on them, I knew I had to have these. So comfort wise, like I said, I did have to take out the Ortholite insole, but I feel like when you put them on and wear it throughout the day, I feel like it actually molds into your foot and it's very comfortable, honestly. I always say this when it comes to Yeezy models. If you have a white foot, just do yourselves a favor go a half size up. So I'm usually a 10 and a half in regular shoes, you know, Nikes, Jordans. And with Yeezys, I feel like size 11 would fit me so much better. This is a 10 and a half, but even without the insole, it does fit comfortably. But I feel like if I had a size 11, it would have been so much more comfortable. But this sneaker is great overall, man. It looks good, it comes with a good retail price, and you just really can't go wrong with the Yeezy 700. Man, these are so nice that I actually got a pair for my wife as well for our anniversary. So we got matching sneakers and with the M and vn bone hers is like almost near dead stock but you could see i've worn mine plenty of time i actually wore them last weekend but 
I really don't have a lot of negative things to say. The only negative I really got to say, if you're a driver, you'll understand. And if you have an elevated heel like this, you're going to get that mark on the corner. I do try to keep the sneaker maintained because it is a white sneaker. You're going to see a lot of the stains, as you can see on there. But that's the whole point of a shoe, right? You got to wear it. I feel like the Yeezy brand did really good with the 700 B3, you know, from Ye wearing samples and him giving his own pair to DJ Khaled. I feel like this sneaker really didn't need any promotion at all. The silhouette speaks for itself. And what I like about this silhouette, it does have that go in the dark cage like I mentioned, and it has your 3M hints there. So it's like bringing two of their best features into one sneaker and you know putting it together with a great colorway. You really can't go wrong, man. I'm so glad I got these. So like I said, these did come out on December 23rd, 2019. And I'm not gonna lie, I did cop them a few days early and holy hell, in my lucky that I did. If you look at the resale market right now, it's almost damn near a thousand dollars. So I saved myself a thousand dollars, and I'm just glad that I really hooked me and my wife a pair. Honestly, these are an amazing colorway. And just one more negative thing like I said, if you do have a white foot, just do go up a half size. It is kind of hard to put your foot into this, you know, it's not that wide. You really have to stretch it hard if you want to put your foot in there, but. It is just a great sneaker overall. I feel like if you guys have the extra money to get it, I'd say go ahead and get it. So of course, 2019 was the debut of this bad boy and 2020, we have a couple of colorways that released this year. You have your Alvas, which is completely black and I feel like it doesn't look really good, especially with the glow in the dark, you know, people got their likes and dislikes personally. I really don't like it. I feel like it doesn't blend really well, but you know the Easy brand, every time they come out with a new silhouette, they have to make an all black sneaker. And that's what we got with the Alva. After the Alva, I gotta say, it's probably the second most popular in everybody else's opinion is the 700 V3 Azeroth. And it has like a blue upper and it just looks really nice with that white mid. So I've seen a lot of people rocking it. And, you know, they praise it a lot. It is a great colorway, but I feel like I would have to put that on my number three for number two, actually. I would have to put the 700 V3 Safflower now if you look at the safflower and put it next to the azale they almost look alike but the alto is a little bit more aged and of course instead of having white on the upper here it is yellow and you really don't get a lot of yellow yeezy so i feel like it's a really nice touch that they did with it so in this month of december we're actually going to be seeing the release of the clay brown 700 v3 and that one is kind of like the alvas you know they just put some brown hits to it um that's pretty much it you know nothing special i really don't like it that much if i did have the chance to purchase another 700 v3 i'd go with the safflower just because yellow is one of my favorite colors and i just feel like they did really good with that one but this one will forever be number one in my opinion but tell me what you guys think of this model tell me what you guys think of this colorway and if you had the chance to mess around with the colors what colors would you want to see on the v3 leave your comments down below i'm going to show you guys some on foot shortly but tell me what you guys think down below until the next time, guys, be safe, stay blessed. Until next Saturday, guys, peace. over here and um since there's a couple of designer shops here babe can you buy me some designer sneakers <laughs> you know i'm in the festive feeling it's christmas time but you never know 
I'll leave you here, man. Maybe next time.